live from Bush Stadium in St. Louis, Missouri. Opening day baseball on the show. It's the Toronto Blue Jays taking on the St. Louis Cardinals. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. And the batter is George Springer. Leading off the afternoon for Toronto, the center fielder, George Springer. The pitch. Good eye right there. Montgomery, not a big strikeout guy, but still very effective as far as starting pitchers go. One of those guys that involves the defense and really gets him involved in the action. Ground ball to the right side. Takes it himself. One out in the top of the first. He moves the ball around all the quadrants of the strike zone and will add and subtract velocity. And because of that, he gets the weak contact. It's all about missing the barrel of the bat. Next offering is downstairs. It seems like this type of guy is kind of a dying breed nowadays. Well, exactly. When teams are looking for high velocity, high strikeout rates, a guy like this doesn't necessarily do that. So in order to really appreciate how good he is, you have to see him. Because if you're just looking at a stat sheet, you might overlook him. Next one misses all three. Three balls, one strike. There's the strike. Three and two. And a pitch. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Back here at Bush Stadium. Here's Paul Goldschmidt. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. The next offering misses, and a count two and one. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup, and I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope. And down on strikes he goes. One gone, bottom half of the first. Here's Nolan Arenado. He's on the verge of a milestone. His next home run will be the 300th of his career. Singy Alec Benoa's turned into one of the better starters in the American League. Blue Jays drafted him out of West Virginia. He was the 11th overall pick in the 2019 draft. Yeah, and just a year later, a big league all-star. So. Developed pretty quickly and a front end rotation guy for the Toronto Blue Jays. Tommy Edmond at the plate. Next offering is foul back. Looks really sharp at the start of this one. This is how it's going to be today. It's going to be a tough one for this lineup. Next yep, offering misses. Two and two. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. Varsho racing over to make the catch. Top of the second. Now Matt Chapman at the plate. The third base. Matt Chapman. Next pitch is outside. Just off the inside edge. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3-1 count. On the ground, right side. Goldie takes it to the bag and quickly one away in the second. Bo Bichette up to the dish. Bo Bichette. The next pitch misses, and it's two and one. That one fouled off. Next pitch downstairs, and the count's full. 
got him swinging. Two outs, base is empty. And now it's Dalton Varsho. Next one is off the play. Full count, three and two. The wide to kick the pitch. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Left hand batter waits. Ground ball up the middle. Throws to first, and it's a one, two, three inning. Back here at the ballpark, Wilson Contreras now up to the plate. The catcher, Wilson Contreras. Strike two. Wow. Good luck catching up to that one. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. Here's Tyler O'Neill. Right hander kicks deals. In the air on the infield. Pulls it down, and there's two gone. Lars Newcomb. Next up for the Cardinals. Two down, nobody on. Looks like a really good fastball today. You can hear that catcher's mitt popping. Looking forward to hearing a lot of that one in this one. Righty to the plate. In the dirt. Kirk throws the first in time. St. Louis goes down in order. All set for the start of the inning. And now for the Jays with Merrifield. With Merrifield. They say it went. Two balls, two strikes. Two down. Liner caught it second. Up to the plate is Brandon Belt. Brandon Belt, who grew up in Texas, played his college ball at the University of Texas, and then went on to win World Series with the Giants in 2012 and 2014. They called him the captain for a couple of years. Yeah, and I remember Bruce Bochy talking about Brandon Belt when he was just coming up to the big leagues and said he was a left-handed Buster Posey. Goldie makes the grab out number two. Top of the third, no score. The wind of the pitch. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Bottom of the inning. This is Dylan Carlson. The center fielder. Next pitch is downstairs. That one blasted deep to right. That's back there. Out of here. This place is absolutely loving it. His first homer of the year, it's 1-0. Now it's Paul DeYoung up to the plate. Next pitch misses, and it's 2-1. Okay, from here, he's got to treat this as a clean inning. Forget about the fact that his team is now down by a run. And a pitch. It's always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. The pitch. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. And next is the designated hitter, Brendan Donovan. The 1 1 is cut on and missed to the pitch upstairs.
at the belt and fires. Two balls, two strikes. Fights it off, you'll see another. Kicks and fires. And this is inside. And that's ball four. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch. And I tell you what, he oh, earned that one. Now no, it's Goldschmidt up to the plate. Goldschmidt. Righty delivers. And that one upstairs. He really committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets hit hard by a power guy like this. That's a nice miss right there. And the next pitch is way outside. Twings and misses. It's a strikeout. Blew the express the right by his bat for three. strike three. Man at first, and up next for St. Louis, Nolan Arenado. In the air, right field. Varsho moving under it, makes the catch, inning over. Start of the fourth. Here's George Springer. The center field number three. George Springer. The pitch. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Outfield deep here, trying to prevent anything over their heads. And a 1-1. Late that time, and it's strike two. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. The Blue Jays yet to pick up a hit here. Oh. The next offering misses, and the count is even two and two. Right side. And he handles it himself for the out. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Here's a 1-1. On the ground to the left. Over to Goldie. Third out. Bottom four, and now it's the switch go. inning second baseman, Tommy Edmond. Second baseman, Tommy Edmond. Here's a one-two. And a ball evens the count. Two-two now. That one just misses. And here it comes. That's out to center field. Springer on the move. And there's one away. And up to hit is Wilson Contreras. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Here comes a pitch. And that one is in for a strike. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Next offering is foul back. Gets a piece and stays alive. Pitcher having a pretty tough time getting that swing and miss. Third foul ball in a row. 
and a pitch gets a piece there we'll do it again slow roller to third oh and it hits the base and he'll be safe at first well, he really had to battle for that one. Man, that was so fun to watch. He pretty much did the opposite of what you want to do with the pitch on the outside part of the plate like that. Just rolled over, but good hustle down the line and got the infield knock. Next offering is in for a strike. The pitch. That's ball two. Contreras leads off first with one away. And the righty deals. Blows the high heat past him. That's a strikeout. Man at first. No right and no stepping right in for the Cardinals, Lars Newtball. He's over one. Two two now. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. And welcome back. Here's Matt Chapman. It's interesting. He plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. And the pitch. This to center field. Carlson settles underneath it. One down. Bobichet digs in now. Next pitch is outside. And now three and one. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. And he walked him. Well, a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to play off some really close pitches. And somehow, well, he found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Here's a 1 1. And there's a ball. Swings and misses. And now two and two with two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. And now the lefty swings through it, and that's a strikeout. With Merrifield up to the plate. And he deals. Hard ground ball, base knock. They stop the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Once in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. Next offering misses. Two balls, two strikes. And a foul ball. He stays alive. and misses struck him out had him out front for strike three
welcome back. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's the center fielder, Dylan Carlson. Two one pitches in there, and the count is even. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Okay. Next offering is down low. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. And a pitch. And that one is lifted in the air. Makes the grab on the run. And there's one down. Now up for St. Louis, Paul DeYoung. The 1-1. One, one. Oh, that's out. The two on is high. Ground ball, Vlad Jr. He'll do it himself. Two up, two down. Two oh, outs, base is empty. Now with the plate, Brendan Donovan. One one check swing appeal down to third no swing Gary Simmons with the call. The two one. And a swing and a miss. The pitch. Caught him looking for the K. Back here in St. Louis, Danny Jansen to hit here. The line and the pitch. And one and two. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Struck him out swinging. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. And it'll be George Springer to step to the plate. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. And a count one and two. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit. Just not able to screw it up. Next offering is downstairs. Got it by him for the K. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now. Outfield deep here. Trying to prevent anything over their heads. Two outs. So a foul ball makes it one and two. The two out and nobody on. You want to go right after this guy. He's the number two hitter, which means if he gets on, you've got some thunder coming up behind him. Vladimir Guerrero Jr., he's made that proud so far in his career. Multiple all-star appearances. A guy who was born in Montreal way back. Well, going to pause on that thought as that'll do it for the inning. Here at Bush Stadium, bottom of the sixth inning, and here's the St. Louis leadoff man, Paul Goldschmidt. And the right hander deals. Really consistent release point. He's been able to pitch up and down and have excellent command at both locations. Right-hander kicks deals. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Here's Nolan Arenado. And in the back of his mind, he's got to be thinking about home run number 300. He's sitting on 299 right now. 
That one hammered left field way back there. Riding to the play. And now it's even up. In the air to left center. Touches down. That's a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. I'm amazed at his ability to pull his hands inside and actually square You're that right, baseball up. Right. That pitch was now off the plate. The so tough to get the barrel to Number anything in there. Nate Pearson Nate. into the game. Yeah. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. One gone runner at first. And up next for St. Louis, Tommy Edmond. Bar show after it. He's got it, and there's two away. Man at first, Wilson Contreras. Next up for the Cardinals. This guy has turned into one of the best catchers in the game, but was originally signed by the Cubs as an infielder. And now two and two. Waves at the bender for the strikeout. Back here at the ballpark, new inning getting started. Here's the Toronto catcher, Alejandro Kirk. Here's a one-two. Swing and a miss. Stuck him out. The high heat too much on that one. Now it's Matt Chapman. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Bobichet next up for the Blue Jays. He's 0 for 1. Next pitch is downstairs. And that one missing low. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. Kicks and deals. This to third. Arenado over to pick it up. Fires over to first. And Machette is retired. And that'll do it. Set for the last half of the seventh. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Tyler O'Neill. And a pitch. Swings through that one for strike two. Clearly he was sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Got him swinging. The right fielder. Now it's the right fielder, Lars Newtball. One down, base is empty. Going to count one and two. Next offering is fouled back. Next one misses, and the count's even at two. Good eye right there. Left hand batter waits. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Right handed reliever. Out to short. Throws across the diamond. Two up, two down. And the batter now, Dylan Carlson. Man, this has been a real important inning in relief. I mean, so far, we've been doing a great job holding that deficit at one. Goes down looking for the strikeout. A controversial called strike three to end the inning. Giovanni Gallegos taking over on the mound. 
these are the spots where levers really make a name for themselves late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Well, one run game, and now the right fielder, Dalton Varsho. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. Oh, that got him. And that'll put the tying run on base to start the inning. These types of mistakes no, usually no. turn out to be costly this late in the ball game. Things can really slip away in a hurry. Puts a bunt down. Goldie. And they put the tag on him for the out. With a single base runner because of all the power, they are dangerous to tie this thing up or take the lead. One out and a runner at second. Fouled off. He was late. The one two. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Chased the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Now it's Jansen to him. Now field deep here, trying to prevent anything over their heads. Man at second. And ball four to a board. Pretty much the last thing you want from your bullpen arms are free passes, especially in spots like this. Make the team earn their way off. Big spot. Two out. Both the tying and go-ahead runs are aboard. Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. No, no signs of wavering on the mound here in the eighth. He's looking rock solid so far. Here's a one-two. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Now into the ball game on defense, Kevin Kiermeyer. He'll be out in left field. And welcome back. The batter will be the shortstop, Paul DeYoung. The next pitch misses, and it's two and one. Kicks and fires. In the air, left field, down the line, and it gets into the corner, but it's foul. Here's a 2-2. That one missed. He never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. And now Brendan Donovan. A strikeout and a walk. Next offering is in for a strike. Pitch. And that's Two outside. Two Donovan checks his swing. Appeal down to third. Did not go. The pitch. Swings and misses. Gassed it right by him. And here's the first baseman, Paul Goldschmidt. Not your prototypical leadoff guy. Gets on base, yes, but also some power. The 1-1. One -one. That's the ball. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Two and one now. In there at the knees for a strike. <laughs> Yeah. 
Now this is in the air down the line. Grabs it on the run. And that's the inning. So the closer summoned from the bullpen, Ryan Helsley. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. So digging in, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And they've got the no doubles defense set up. Outfielders playing deep and fielders guarding the lines. In for a strike, now it's three and two. The tying run at the plate. Swung on, popped up on the infield. De Young under this one. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there's one down. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit and then from there can really settle in. Kick swing. Now we'll look down to first. Yes, he did. Down he goes on strikes. And here is Matt Chapman. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. The pitch. That one finds the zone. And the count, one and two. Good eye in that spot. That turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game with the bat on your shoulder. Next one is off the play, and the count's full. Big pitch coming right here. Last thing he wants to do is put the tying run on base, but he can't groove on either. Swinging a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. was all about the pitching and defense. Outstanding job of the pitchers, really attacking hitters, trusting what the catcher was putting down, and trusting the guy standing behind him to make the plays defensively. Sometimes you want to see a high-scoring game, but sometimes you can appreciate the artistic beauty of what these guys did on the mound today. The final one to nothing. They hang on to win it by a run. 